Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brain Bean here again. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Drop's newest keyboard kit, the Drop Karina. So with that, let's get into it. Secret Lab combines best-in-class materials, a plethora of finish options, and industry-leading comfort to provide the ultimate seating experience. With models for users of all sizes and aesthetic tastes, there's sure to be a chair for any setup. Click the link in the description to find out which chair is right for you. So I actually started filming this video uh, right before Christmas time, and then I took a month off, and then all this craziness in Texas started happening. So I'm actually gonna cut to previous version of me walking you through what comes in the kit, and then we'll talk about what I think about it. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. So like I mentioned, the Karina is Drop's newest keyboard. It comes in a kit, and this is a 60% acrylic keyboard. And just taking a look at what we've got here, we've got the PCB, and that does come with the LEDs already good to go in there, so you don't have to buy LEDs. Um, now we've got the casing, which is like a nice frosted acrylic. It's really heavy too. Sometimes these acrylic keyboard cases can be really flimsy, but this, this is really sturdy, which is nice. We've also got the cable, the necessary hardware, and also a set of stabilizers. So on these plates, you have three different options that you'll choose at checkout. We have the aluminum that you see here. This one's gonna add an additional 20 bucks to the cost of the kit. We've also got a brass one that's gonna add 30, and then a copper, which is gonna add 40 bucks to the cost of the kit. Now also in this video, just to finish out the build, uh, folks over at Drop also sent over a set of Gateron Robin switches. This is the 67 gram. These are linear switches. I've been wanting to try these for a while, so I'm excited to see how these go. And then we've also got a set of Drop's Skylight keycaps. These are PBT shine through keycaps. And then I chose the Horizon colorway, which is that blue modifiers and accents with the white. Now that we've seen what's in the kit, let's get building. So I think overall, the Drop Karina is a very beginner-friendly keyboard kit. You don't have to know how to solder, all you need is a screwdriver to build it, and the hot swappable switches will make it so that you can try out other switch varieties later without having to buy a whole nother keyboard. I do think it's a little bit on the expensive side when you factor in it's 120 bucks for the base kit, plus 20 bucks to 40 bucks for the plate, plus another 20 to 80 bucks depending on your switch type, of which on the website, uh, on drop.com, you can choose between Cherry, Kale, Gateron, to more expensive varieties like Holy Pandas. So you really can start to build this thing about as expensive as you want it. And then we look at keycaps, of course, which you can pick up just about any variety of keycaps anywhere. On Drop's website, we have, of course, like the Skylight keycaps, which are about 40, all the way up to some GMK keycaps, which will cost you about 100 to 150 bucks. So Realistically, we could look at about a minimum of $200 for this keyboard, all the way up to about $400 and beyond, depending on how crazy you wanna go with it. Um, I do have a couple of nitpicks with this keyboard, one being the stock stabilizers really aren't that good. And even after clipping, lubing, band-aid modding, I did find that there's still a bit of rattle, and I would recommend if you're gonna be building this thing, 
If not at the time of purchase, definitely later on swap out and get some better stabilizers. I also found that the plate doesn't mount into the board perfectly. And this could just be in the version that I got, but it did find that in one corner of the plate, when you put a lot of pressure down, there's a little bit of creaking there. You don't notice this when using the keyboard, but for me, if I'm dropping 200 bucks, I don't wanna have that be an issue. You can, of course, open it up and put some support in there and make that not an issue anymore. So again, going more into the project keyboard, uh, you know, if you want something to tinker around with, this again becomes, you know, a good option. I think aesthetically, the Karina is really nice looking. I really like the acrylic case. I think it diffuses the light really well. I mean, it's a really pretty board. And I think that the case itself is very thick and weighty and feels very quality, which I wasn't expecting in an acrylic uh, case. So I really like that about it as well. So I you know I think this is something that you need to evaluate for you what you're looking for in a keyboard kit. Uh, and you know, this definitely could be a good option for you. So I think overall, if you're somebody that wants to dip their toes into the hobby or get started building a keyboard, you like the look of the acrylic case, and you're not afraid of doing a little bit of tinkering on your keyboard, then the Karina is a really good option for you to get some good quality materials as well as just a good foundation for you for building a keyboard. If you're looking for something to just drop a couple hundred bucks on and buy just a really solid board, I would more recommend looking into something like the Drop Alt or GMMK or even a Ducky 1 2 Mini, something like that. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit easier to just get and I think the overall build quality is gonna be about the same for maybe not as much money. Well, that's it for the video, guys. If you're on the fence of whether to build or buy your next keyboard, I've actually got a video answering that exact question down in the description for you. And of course, if you made it this far into the video, I'd love to see you hit that subscribe button and stick around as I've got a lot more videos like this coming for you in the near future. But as always, guys, stay safe out there, take care of each other, and I will see you in the next one.